Oh yeah, folks, Graphics Rogue here, back with another Three Kingdoms Kaukau Campania uh, hot seat thingy. Let's go into it. Let's see what we got. Oh, somebody. Alliance and map information. New clan. I can't, can't for the fucking life of me remember who these guys are. Oh, officially Devin. All right. I guess the message your monkey's got here. Everybody wanna be bum and the uh, sure. And now we are allied with the Lu Clan. And that takes a load off my mind because I was afraid I was going to be ganged up by everybody and everybody was going to want to war me. Because we're in, um, we're in turn six now, and that means players are going to start beasting all over each other. But we got to see uh, how this goes down. We got we to gotta take these guys out. We got to, I mean, take out our enemies, I mean. I gotta figure out who they are and who's this guy. Computer, alright, don't have to worry about it. And also, the uh, Imperial protectors are in this area, so we gotta be careful. Alright, Yan Zhao has messaged me. Yan Zhao is Drazul. The heavens have declared that the men on earth shall remain strong. Those who do not embrace the way of the warriors shall not go far in the eyes of God and cover the skies. Lu Bu has embraced. <laughs> Everybody types so nice and poetically, and I. I just can't uh, do it on the fly, you know. I need to sit down for an hour and think to write this poetically. Lubu has embraced this, uh, for no one shall do worse harm to the great clans of China than those who are not strong enough to defend themselves. And Yan Zhao, Lubu. Who's Lubu? Is Lubu a guy in the Yan Zhao? The weak Quin Zhao were such a danger, their fighters were no true warriors, and their lands unprotected from danger, like the chaos of the yellow turbans who broke the empire only so shortly ago. <laughs> Great. Surely all veterans of this land know the problems with the weak military rule, and would have done no less in my place. Quin Zhao is all under the protection of Lu Bu, true defender of the people, and warrior of no equal. Shall the heavens shine brightly on those who understand the strengths needed uh, to protect the people from oppression and lawlessness alike? Lubu, Marquis of Wind, protector of the weak and paragon of the warrior's way. And this Lubu presumes a lot of himself. Yan Jiao is uh, over there, there's these guys. He presumes himself to be the protector of the weak. How can he protect the weak when he cannot even protect? Protect his own Batman tiles. From Pooh! Alright, uh, so. Is he offering me something? It feels like he just wanted to. It feels like he just wanted to give a statement to uh, the cow cow. Is he asking me something here? The weak Queen Zhao. What were the Queen Zhao? Was that like another. A land or something? Is Queen Zhao a, uh, a faction? Or is it a region? What's he talking about here? <laughs> Not sure. Well, Queen Zhao is now under the protection of Lu Bu. Alright. Sounds pretty cool. An alliance announced between Lu and the Cow Cow Clan. And yes, I'm gonna keep calling it Cow Cow, just so you know. Okay, I need. Please give me some spies. No spies. I'm not allowed to have spies. Two turns until I get some uh, diplomat abilities. That's a scholar. I don't need a scholar right now. Well, maybe I could build one and use him as a spy. I need to I take a look at some of these spirit, borders here. State. Okay, has anybody declared war on anybody? Sun Clan is human, he's warring Yunnan Yan Zhao. The Han Emperor is neutral computer. Oh, you know what would be really cool? If a modder made 
you know, looking at these names just reminded me, Bashu, it'll be a great of some modern made Avatar, The Last Airbender, Total War. We can go to Ba Sing Ze, and we can go to the Fire Nation, and the the Water Tribes, and the and the, the Earth Nation, and all that. That would be so cool. Well, it will be pretty small, actually. I mean, there's only a few nations, after all. And the air, the air clans are pretty much wiped out. I don't know, I haven't seen Korra yet. Maybe they bounced back. Gotta see Korra sometime. No, I guess nobody's at war with any humans yet. Hail my king! I feel like we're in a Hail dangerous situation. With honor, sir. At the, this particular moment. I guess I'll pop yes, them in here for I now. Because I'm not sure. Okay, we're allied with uh, the Lu Clan. I don't have to worry about some bullcrap going over there. At least it betrays the al the alliance and Hail my king. screws me over. Who went on? Nan Yang. Okay, well, my king. about to go to war with. I think we're about to go to war with Hunan. Maybe I can make a peace deal with y Nan Yang. You're That's a diplomat. Sire. What is it you wish to discuss? Can I make an alliance? Or do I want an alliance? Well, yeah, I could. It's good it could do me well to have an alliance you. with them for now, just so I can uh, keep track of what's going on in this area. Now, if I keep an alliance with Lu Bu, I need to message him about how our borders, how our border setup would likely go. I'm assuming he would want most of this uh, Hunan land because I don't want to make any trouble with the alliance, and I'll be friends with the Nanyang. If I if I'm allied with the Nanyang, that means maybe I can go toward Yanjiao, and go through uh, Nanyang territory into Net Yanjiao. Got to stay allied with them, and maybe also I can cast my gaze westward to these. Imperial protectors, Imperial protector dogs, who presume to uh, protect the Emperor, but nope, I, 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 I say no to that, good sir, I say no to that, I need some spies, dang it, how much longer do I get some spies, agent limit reached, I need to expand, alright, I knew I need to expand, so Hail I have no choice king. right now. I need to. I wish I could Hail raise up some uh, mercs, but I can't. Okay, I'm going to pull these guys out this way. No use for them to be over here. We'll try to maybe connect them with the Crazy Tigers Legion, the uh, the Tiger Force. Army of the Tiger. We are going to attack Ru Yin. Go to war with will, these guys. We are now this war. Siege, the Huanan. We have declared war once more. We have declared war with an official faction, actually. Kao Kao and Nan Yang. We have made an alliance. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put money where it needs to be. I don't think there's gonna be any battles this episode. Hail my king. No. Walk in the light, my friend. What can you Hail do? Hail my king. So Hail go my through king. here. You can't go through here. This way is the only way to get out of this area. So if any enemies want to come through, they're gonna have to go through Luo Yang. Or maybe Hail I could also set king. up a fort right here With on the top side. of this hill. No, I can't do that. It's a little too close to the yes, watchtower. Set up a fort there, but I got no soldiers to defend it. Hail I don't want Kaoang wasting his time here. Hail my king. Minor faction. Okay. Hail my king. All right, I'm gonna pull them With back. Honor, sire. We're gonna need this uh, fight Taking for the, for the Hunan. Sire. 
for the Hunan Yang, Nang Yang, Nang Yang Hu. Hail, my um, king! What else? No. Assassin! <gasps> assassins! Sure, we can build up some assassins. That ought to be good. Gotta be friends with the with the Nanyang. I, uh, be nice to have some land, but I don't want to. I want to keep friends and leave with the Nanyang. They're my allies for now. We'll just go through their land, and if I want to conquer more land, we can conquer these guys. The Jing Zhao. These guys have done something. They've conquered some land that was, I don't know, controversially controversial to be conquered, or he wouldn't have messaged me like that. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Thing about this hot seat campaign is a lot of a lot of downtime. You get you get one turn, you don't always get the chance to do a whole lot of a whole lot of anything. I can't really do much else, but I'm still waiting for certain buildings to be built so I can make more soldiers, so I can build more agents and whatnot. Gotta build more diplomats. To conquer more lands if I want to make more, more spies. And of course, we are not we are not a warmonger uh, country. We seek to only protect those who are unable to protect themselves from the vile and vicious uh, rabid hands of uh, of the uh, the Liang and whatnot. We need to protect the good people of China from the true warmongers. Because of course, Cow Cow, Cow Cow is in a warmonger. He just wants to protect Hail my king. And maybe yes, uh, get a little bit of get a little bit of tax income for their uh, protection. It's a win-win for everybody. I, you know, in all honesty, it's a win-win for everybody. You know, they want, my they king. want to be protected. Hail my king. Sure, there's a greetings, most some noble people ally. Would like to be protected. Ruyin. Okay, we're gonna attack them. Maybe next turn. They don't got much people in here. Hail my king. And I'm worried about moving these guys away. I might want to move. See Hail if I can get Cao king. Yang over there. Eh, we shall Cao Yang over tomorrow, there. Yang. Yeah. But we'll uh, go. Uh, well. Hail my king. Oh, I want to be. Your attention is an honor, noble. Be careful. Ally. I would fight for your people as if they were my own. Well, nothing friend. else much I can do, I suppose. Build that, I guess. Alright, so I guess that's it for this one, but we're going to message a few people. Let's see what we can do with Yanjiao. Yanjiao presumes to be protectors of the weak and paragons of good. The Cow Cow. The Cow Cow clan does not see this as a uh, as a definite why should they presume to be the protectors of the weak is cow cow not mighty enough to protect the weak himself so where are you Yanjo? okay some information about what's going on over here. Perhaps you should speak to my liege, dear ally. Alright. 
Yan Zhao are the people who uh, who messaged me, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Wait a minute. Is me... I wish I knew what city he was talking about. There's no city I have. Is he talking about one of Lu Blu um, the Lu Clan cities? Because I feel like I'm messaging him in, ig in ignorance here. Not completely sure what he was saying to me.
Cow Cow is far too busy to is far too busy to write his own messages. That's why he has to hire a high chief message inspector. All right, dear Yen Jia Clan, there's no. It is in no dispute that Lu Bu is protector over the lands he protects, but my lord Kakao would like it well understood the great danger can go over a man who believes himself protector of all. Comes over, believes himself protector of all men, especially men who do not fall under his domain. The power and moral su moral superiority. I wish that wasn't so. I feel like messing with it. The moral superiority of my lord Cow Cow as well is as well equal, if not more so, to any lord of China. And if protectors of all men is the title given to those who bear these qualities, then perhaps he should follow this through to his logical conclusion, perhaps. Uh. Good day. Hi, Chief Message Inspector DJ, DJ Jazzy Jeff. And send. All right, then. I deal with matters of spirit. I just want to make it clear where Mighty Cow Cow stands. Cow Cow can protect the people in his own lands, if that's what he's insinuating. That he wants to be the protector of my lands. Okay, now we also need to send a message to a especially, uh, especially Lou. Especially Devin over here. No, it's officially Devin. I keep calling him especially Devin. A Lou clan. <clears throat> I spelled ferocious, probably not right, but I don't feel like fixing it. Ferocious? Is that right? Ferocious? Maybe. that clan called the the Huainan Huain Whoops What's What's going on here?
What the f- God damn it. Well, pisses me off so much I almost feel like I don't want to write this anymore. Why did it all disappear? This whole, this whole message thing is really bugged. It doesn't work right. And now it's not even typing anymore. So stupid. Okay, where is uh, I had a good train of thought going to.
All right, that took way too long, but I think I'm starting to get this uh, poetic talky talk down a little bit better. And got to keep my mind clear, and I can get it written out uh, quicker than I did that other time. Anyway, dear Lu Clan, His Mighty Lordship Kaka is very pleased pleased with the arrival of the Messenger Monkey. He would like to further discussions of our standing with the other clans, as well as come to a mutual understanding when it comes to the borders of our domain. It's uh, his mighty and handsome cow, Lordship Cow Cow has seen fit to send his most ferocious general, Crazy Tiger, to bring war to the Huan, Huanin, Huan, Huainan, Huainan clan in a bid to shore up our borders, our border defenses. They are an unworthy clan with a notorious smelly leader, but we ca we have no intentions of leaving our allies encaged like a tiger in a cage. So we would like to know what your current intentions with the Huanin, Huanan clan and uh, thoughts on the border situation. The mighty and handsome and also well-endowed Lord Chip Cow Cow eagerly await your Lord's reply. Hi, Chief Messenger Specter, DJ, Jesse, Jeff, send it. So basically I want, I don't want to cage him up. Like if I were to go to war with Cow Cow with the Huanan and conquer all this stuff, he might get mad at me because he might not be able to get through here, you know? I don't want to cage him cage him up. So maybe if I could, uh, I would be happy just to take this land and then he could take the rest of this. I don't mind that. I'll just uh, go through here and I'll deal with more of this and go through more of the south area. I have no uh, problems with that. If we were to go to war together against the uh, Yanjiao clan, which I don't know if that's happen. I don't know if that situation is what's brewing, but it might be. We could maybe divvy it up like half the clan for me, half for him. Because he's got a, um, he's got a, he's got a lot of forces here and we're, if we're going to want to, we're going to want to go to war against them together if that uh, should happen. And we want to make it mutually uh, beneficial for the, for both of us and whatnot, you know. War! Why not? Yeah, we're gonna get that war. The mighty crazy Taiga! Taiga, Taiga, Taiga! We'll want to bring glorious magnificence to it. I think we want to ally ourselves with the Yuan. Mm. We will, uh. Yes. I don't even have a diplomat over here. I, I couldn't do it if I wanted to. But let's uh, maybe ask them, maybe they can send a diplomat. And, my, and the Yuan clan, they are Drash, Drashir. Drashir.
resources elsewhere, away from my borders. Right, the mighty Yuan, Yuan, mighty Yuan clan. They are they're the guys to the north, right? Yes, mighty Yuan clan. His uh, mighty lordship Cao Cao is pleased with the declaration of peace between our clans, but the political instability in China. We uh, would like to further our official, further for an official alliance. The vile Liang continues to make threats against all the lords, and the position of the Yan Jiao becomes more unclear by the day. With the Alliance, we can fully cement our friendship, giving us the ability to direct our resources elsewhere, away from each other's borders. His Lordship eagerly awaits your thoughts. High Chief, Message Inspector, DJ Jazzy Jeff. Alright. So I think that's all the message uh, stuff I want to do for now. Scholar, who wants to send you a and, uh, Continuing once I have rested. Yeah, we got a good situation out here. We got an Alliance, and we're going to war with the Hunan. We're going to take this. And maybe I'll uh, also take this land too. We'll see about that. Maybe uh, uh, especially Devon Luan clan wants to go for this these areas. I could help him do that. Maybe. Anyway, that will be for uh, another time. I am your graphics rogue, and I will hold on. I just forgot. Uh, 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 yay, Angel! I am your graphics rogue, and I will see you next time. Later, folks. Peace.